Austin P is launching the state's first rotor wing program. News Channel 5's Kristen Scovera has more on this degree and how it's taking flight. This is a uh, gimbal a G2 Cabri. Instructor Charles Wygant knows his way around a helicopter. He's all on this engine performance module. Joined the Army uh, in 1977, went to flight school, graduated in 1978 and spent 24 years as an Army aviator, the vast majority right across the road here at Fort Campbell. Now he's the program director and chief helicopter pilot at Austin Peay State University. We're not only the only one in uh, the state of Tennessee, but in every state surrounding Tennessee, there are only two other programs. So this whole southeast region is uh, it's wide open for uh, rotary wing training. A fleet of three helicopters will be housed at the Clarksville Regional Airport. Wygant flew two of them in from the West Coast. This is video from that trip where he spent three days and 21 hours in the air, flying in from Portland, Oregon. He says this is the perfect time to become a pilot. The market for commercial pilots across the board, both fixed wing and rotary wing, uh, is very wide open. Uh, the airlines are really hurting for pilots. And as a result, they're pulling rotary wing aviators into the fixed wing programs. So in addition to getting a, a bachelor's degree in aviation science, students will have the opportunity to graduate with their commercial flight instructor and instrument flight instructor uh, certificates and hopefully make them immediately hireable in the job market. Kristen Scovira, News Channel 5. The degree requires more than 175 hours of flight time and it launches this spring.